All Stony Creek here. It's one of our chicken coops. It's laid uh, dormant now for most of the summer. What the uh, wife and I have been doing the last uh, couple of days is actually cleaning this up. We're going to revamp it and then move one of our other flocks in here. But before the chickens get in here and get all messy, I figured I'd show you a little bit uh, what the coop looks like before the chickens get in. I take, can't take credit for making this structure. This is actually a portable building, but we just converted it. I'm starting out with um, the front of this was all made with uh, repurposed pallet material. One of the things I thought I'd show you, we can also collect eggs without having to go all the way into the coop. Got a four hole nest box here. If you can see over there, that's uh, the pop door so the chickens can get in and out. Right here I've got a weighted rope. I've just used a bunch of washers to weight it to keep things in line. We follow that rope up. It goes to an eye bolt that goes through the top. All the way down to that pop door. Pretty sunny today, you can't see out, but I can open and close this pop door without walking actually into the run or even going into the chicken coop. So that's a pretty convenient little deal. Got a little step board here. It holds the bedding in place, but I can pull it out when I'm going to clean everything. When we first got the coop, I laid down some linoleum. Just used uh, the real cheap remnant off the bargain counter at Lowe's. Didn't care what it looked like. It's all going to be covered up with bedding. But putting down this linoleum makes it a lot easier to clean it and also protects the wood floor. That's just the back side, or rather the front side, to that nest box. Then we've got several roost on this side, and then we have a roost on this side. Window can open and close for both winter or summer. This is another window. I'll close this in the winter time. With a window here, we've actually got a window in the back of the door, and then it's hard to see a little fan up at the top and that will help for ventilation in here. Ventilation is real important in the winter time regardless of where you live. A coop that's not ventilated will actually create a lot of respiratory problems for your chicken so it's important to have your coop ventilated. Make sure it's got good ventilation but no drafts. There is a difference between that. But anyway I just thought I'd show you what the inside of the chicken coop looks like before we throw chickens in here. A little bit cleaner a little bit quieter but anyway here's the inside of the coop let me take you around and I'll show you the top net and some of the other stuff that we're gonna do seems like there's always repairs to be done on the farm this particular coop's been up since about 2009 with no major repairs so I guess I can't complain too much that we're gonna be revamping it I don't know if you can see this net very well with the Sun but we cover all of our coops with the top net we've got a lot of hawks around here ton of hawks and owls so to keep our chickens safe we top net everything the stop nets actually also saved them from ice storms we've literally had trees fall on this top nets not failed chickens have all survived we have had to do a few repairs to the top net but it's be time like say 2009 2010 it's time for this joker to go we had another little grow out area over here this coop's going to go away it's cer certainly served its purpose but it's time for it to go. I'm gonna revamp this fence along here. A little dog house is gonna go. We had uh, LGD puppies, I don't know, two or three years ago, and they actually grew up in the chicken coop. They lived with their chickens until they're large enough to go with the actual goat herd, so that's kind of cool. And back here, you can tell it's certainly been a long time since we've had any poultry. Hard to see, but there's a little open air coop back there. And normally uh, this would end up being a really big job to try to get rid of all this uh, greenery. But fortunately for us, we've got goats. I'm going to put goats in here for a couple of days to let them eat all that down. Because that stuff's growing right through the top fence. That's top net. That's going to be a pain to get rid of. 
but we're going to end up redoing this front as well make it a little bit better this was always used as a grow out pin in the past we called it the bull pin it's where we put all the young cockerels that got into their teenage years but this will still be a grow out pin we're getting ready to put some turkeys in here for the short term but anyway figured I'd just kind of give you a, an overview of what it looks like now and what it's getting ready to look like uh, here in just a few days it's going to be kind of hard to video everything as we're doing it out here but I will video in steps then of course show off the the final frames once the chickens are added and I'm going to tell you about those chickens we're it's a project we've been working on for about three years and we're pretty proud about so stay tuned and learn about a new meat hybrid just wanted to do a quick show weed patrols already on the job hard to see in there but there's actually six goats in there somewhere but they should have this down no time flat I thought I'd show you a day two update you can see now we have no top net we've added a post I'm going to tell you about that guy in a minute you can see we removed that divider fence that was through there we removed the divider fence through here our weed squad did a pretty good job of getting rid of all these weeds shows you our little open air coop that we've got in there piled a branch in there just to keep it out of the way this coop it's not uh, completely finished yet we're actually going to repurpose it wife and I tore the floor out of it yesterday in the front I'm going to go ahead and skin around the bottom and make another open faced little building this is where we're going to start feeding and watering out of and just threw that board in there it was the roost we're going to hang some feeders and waters off that see if that doesn't help some of our chicken waste but just doing a little bit of repurpose speaking of repurpose this post you know how they always say measure twice cut once well I measured once I cut once and I was a quarter inch too small we actually uh, had to replace the post on our carport and it was too short so this has been sitting in my garage so I thought you know instead of having this joker just sit in my garage not doing any good at all we're going to concrete this in the ground I'm going to put a uh, spreader bar up there I'll show that once the nets up but this is going to be our center post to help hold the net up so when we walk in here we don't have to duck but I thought it was pretty good use and chickens can have a little bit of uh, class to their structure now okay gonna turn the camera off we're getting ready to uh, gonna add a couple of walls in here from an old pen that I had built a few years ago so I'm gonna repurpose that make it a divider and this will just be a two-part pen at that point we'll have our grow outs in the back we'll have chickens up front we're actually gonna move our adult turkeys back here just for the winter because we're getting ready to replace the top net on their coop and do a lot of repairs but uh, this should be a pretty good space once we get done with it this has definitely needed to happen for the last two or three years so now we're finally getting around to doing it and it's going to be done just in time for fall hopefully we'll have a move in either later on this evening no later than tomorrow we need to get this project done weather's been cooperating it's been overcast rain's been in the forecast but we haven't got any rain yet but we sure have enjoyed uh, working in the cooler weather so I'll uh, do updates as they come. Hey guys, going over some old video footage that I did last summer. I realized I didn't finish a video, so I'm going to finish it today. We did finally get this chicken net on. Let me show you what's going on in here. I don't know if you can see that top net very well. I'm actually standing under the top net. I'm five foot ten or so. I tried to have this net six foot. I don't like dunking for anything. One of the reasons it took me so long to finish this, believe it or not, we ordered this net. It's an awesome net, but the manufacturer obviously didn't know standard measurements. It took them three times to get the right net. So we'd get the net on, get it halfway strung across, realize it wasn't wide enough. Have them send us another net, get it halfway on, 
is only three quarters wide enough. So finally, third time, they got it right, so we got the net on. Earlier in the video, I talked about this back area going to be for turkeys. But well, we had some grow outs in here, grow out turkeys. They were hatched last spring, 2017. And believe it or not, we've already sold them all. So we've actually just put our meat maker chickens in here. Of course, they're all going to run and hide on me. These are a Buckeye Dark Cornish Cross. If you were to pick one up, they probably weigh, I don't know, 12 pounds, 12, 13 pounds. So they're a great meat bird. They produce a lot of eggs, and they reproduce. They're not like those Cornish crosses that you get at the store that's 10 weeks, and they just fall over dead. Um, these things, some of these hens in here are a couple of years old, and they're still doing great. For our divider panel, use some of the stuff that we just had available. That panel's from an old dog run. And then uh, this panel and the one down there made out of wood was part of an old pheasant cage that I, old pheasant pen that I used to have. We don't have pheasants now, so I disassembled it. And it just makes a pretty good divider pen, pretty easy to walk through with this door. And then across the top, I don't know if you can see it very well or not. But this piece is old PVC that came out of our well the first time we replaced the well pump back in 2011, I guess it was. So the PVC was just laying around, so I thought that would be a good, uh, good thing to help hold the net off the top. And then when we strung the net, it certainly made it a lot easier. So anyway... So anyway, I figured I owed you guys the end of this video and see how we did this. Later on this spring, we're going to be replacing the top net of our peacock house. That's going to be fun. But we've already ordered the nets. I've already checked the sizes, so shouldn't have the issue that we did with this one. But stay tuned for that. Take care. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a note in the comments if you've got any questions or anything. And we'll see you next time.